Okay, so I gotta go get gas. We're gonna try a, a smart car cold start. Not quite a cold start. I had uh, the block heater plugged in for almost an hour. outside it's very cold I have my recirculate or fresh air in the middle so it's blowing a little bit on my feet and it's blowing mostly up top I have a little 12 volt car heater blowing on the windshield and it's working pretty good without that the car would be fogging up pretty good uh, the ambient temperature in here is probably about uh, say uh, 5 to 10 above I have my uh, digital thermometer here uh, yeah so the dash is 6.6 .6 degrees yeah 6.8 uh, the heat coming out of the vent. I guess I gotta do up front there because it's on defrost. It's probably about 10 degrees. On the floor it's uh, minus 13. No wonder my feet are cold. Uh, I got two bubbles on the dash and uh, it's running good. I made sure to put in some uh, anti-gel uh, in the fuel and filled it right up before I headed out. But it's uh, hanging in there. It's doable. I'm all bundled up. I got a skidoo suit on. Uh, so with a, a little bit of help from a 12 volt heater, a person can do it. Minus 38 and the temperature's dropping. It's supposed to be uh, minus 42, 40 something tonight. And there's a strange mist in the air. If you look at the windows, you know, it's all iced over out on the outside. And the heater isn't enough to really defrost it that well. But as long as I'm not shining a light in here, I can see where I'm going. You know. Well, there's a little bit on the outside. You can see the heat pattern on the windshield. Yeah, it doesn't put out too much. In the next few vids, I'm going to try to restrict the amount of circulation in the cooling system because uh, it's an open bypass system, so it just it circulates all the time, and uh, the bypass line is uh, pretty much the same size as the main rad hose, so it's just like an open thermostat all the time in these cars. But the heater core is only a certain size and can't really get around that. I suppose could double them up or something, but uh, I'm gonna focus on uh, getting the flow to the heater core first and try to up the heat in there. Thankfully, the weather is breaking here and it's gonna get warm again. Uh, and I might, and we might not get another cold patch the rest of the year, so. I'll have to test out the heating system uh, when it's like minus 10. Yeah, it's a winter wonderland tonight. There ain't nobody walking around tonight, that's for sure. I was walking around today without my balaclava on and uh, within two, three minutes, I could feel my skin freezing already. I was gonna have some frostbite. So uh, it's pretty cold out. And I think I might have got a little bit, uh, my cheeks, uh, yeah, just the, the tips of my cheeks are, I think I got a little bit of frostbite today. 
So the car kind of loosened up a little bit when I first set out. The steering was really hard and the, the doors didn't want to close and everything was rattling away. You know, like plastic does when it gets really, really cold. And, uh, but it held in there, nothing broke, so that's cool. I'm going for a hot chocolate and something to eat because I need some uh, fuel to keep the heater on. I'm starting to get uh, chilly here. Uh, okay, you can do it. Come on. Oh, look at that, quality windows. Uh-oh, I have to roll it down again to pick up the food. Ah, uh, my feet. Uh, my one foot's been hurting all the way here. It's frozen. Uh, I got the heat on full just on the feet now, so I'm hoping it's gonna, gonna warm up a bit, but... It is so good. Uh. Oh yeah, that's gonna hit the spot. Okay, I got some food in me and I got a nice uh, hot cup of coffee here. Uh, so on with the journey I go and uh, I'm already feeling warmer. To note when it's really cold out like this, the tires are firm and there's a lot of road noise coming in. I gotta yell so you can hear me over the cabin noise. Ride's about the same though. Yeah, no more, no less bumpy. Just uh, I might feel the bumps a little bit more, I guess. Well, I made it down the road a little bit farther, and my foot's finally not hurting anymore. It's thawed out, so that's good. And I got about a half a cup of coffee left, so uh, I'm gonna finish that up in uh, happiness. Well, there's my turn. I think, I think as long as the car is moving, then it's not too bad. The moment you stop, it uh, stops making heat and then it starts getting really cold again. Especially if you have heated seats. This one doesn't have any heated seats. But uh, the other one I had did, and that one was sweet. But that one also had the glass roof. And, uh, that, let, and that let out a lot of heat. So uh, you're... Your butt was nice and warm, but everything else was frozen. As well, when it got cold, uh, just like how the window is icing up here, same with the, the roof was icing up. So that car was, you know, it always go from like uh, iced up to damp, iced up to damp, you know, so was, uh, that car always had a damp interior. In the winter time anyway till it became summer and then it was nice Ooh, a little bit icy yeah I have the cabin filter in this car because in the summertime it can get kind of dusty so I put it in there but in the winter time it's uh, probably a good idea to remove that cabin filter and then you get a little bit more uh, airflow through your heater so I'm gonna make sure and remove that but anyway, that was the adventure in driving a smart car in minus 38 degrees Celsius. If I were to make a comment on this trip, I would say uh, lukewarm.